Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Monday the 31st of January 2022. Uh, it's time for the Guardian's beginner level or easy level puzzle. We'll get onto that in a second. First of all I should just say if you hear any uh, quite a lot of background noise today that's because it's the beginning of Chinese New Year. Happy New Year. Um, I guess we'll say that tomorrow officially. Um, but there are various ceremonies, and the office that's close to my house um, is Chinese run, and uh, they ha often have you know various things to do. I'm not sure if they're cleaning or whatever that is they have to do today. So if you hear any stuff, just ignore them. Uh, uh, what's happening in the news? Oh, it feels like a rerun of uh, when I was younger, uh, Ethiopia. Uh, of course, it's been in the news a lot about their um, war, ongoing war or rebellion or whatever, civil war. And um, actually, uh, right now, the, uh, there have been some predictions that the extra awful problems uh, include climate and in particular drought. And uh, there are some predictions um, that by mid-March... 6.8 million people will be in need of will be in need of urgent assistance. That's an incredible number, and 850,000 children will be are likely to be severely malnourished. Oh, it just it makes your heart ache, doesn't it? Um, UNICEF is you know a, a appealing for money, um, very necessary of course. Uh, the war is going on, you know, making the situation worse. But um, of course with uh, the global climate um, acting as it is um, the situation is terrible we need maybe we need another Bob Geldof to come along and try to galvanize um, people into action again but um, uh, I don't think that kind of thing happens anymore I don't know anyway that's uh, sad news so our uh, best thoughts wishes and hopefully some cash donations will be on the way to um, uh, helping um, people get food uh, and water in, Ethi in Ethiopia um, okay right last thing I want to say before we get on to the puzzle is that this is beginner level day so we have beginners and people who are uh, just novices or not not that you know experienced in Sudoku please put your comments uh, questions uh, in the comments section of these videos because um, I've noticed that recently I think the channel has been taken over by people and the comments mean I mean has been taken over by people with a lot of knowledge kind of experts people who are very good at the game and it's not my aim to have a channel for experts only um, so although we do have some you know hard level games that we play uh, if you are a beginner and you have some questions please put them up there um, I, I check the comments section Excuse the background noise. I check the comment section, and um, if you uh, have questions about uh, how how think how digits are arrived at, techniques or anything really, um, how to play the game, please go ahead and ask. Um, you know, hope that we can um, help, give you some help, um, push you along the way to uh, improving your game of Sudoku. Okay, that's it. So then uh, a quick explanation of the rules for those of you who are brand new to the game. Uh, we have rows across containing nine squares, we have columns down containing nine squares, and we have these black borders which encompass nine squares. Uh, and we fit numbers one to nine in, but it's not about maths, don't worry. If your maths is not that strong, it doesn't really need to be at all. all you, the only maths you need is to be able to count from 1 to 9. I think most people can manage that. Um, uh, because it's a game of logic, not a game of maths. And so we find the answers to uh, the puzzle by using logic. Um, as I say, no, nothing to do with mathematics. So how do we go about finding the answers? Well, what we need to look for is try to find uh, a, a, a row uh, sorry, a column or a row or a block which has only one available square for a particular number. What do I mean by that? Okay, let's look at this block here, right? This box here. 
Now, we've only got three numbers, 5, 8, and 6. What we definitely don't have is a digit 4 anywhere here. But if we look at the surrounding rows and columns, we're going to find some intersecting numbers. Four. We can, find, we can see these three here. So what does it mean? It means 4 is already in this row, so it cannot appear in either of these two squares in this box here because it can't appear in any other square in this row. We only have nine squares and we need numbers one to nine. So these two squares are excluded. We have four blocking across here and you know everywhere else along this row. So these two squares are also excluded. And then we have a four stopping down here. Nothing in this column can become a four. So there's a kind of blocking pattern, blocked across here, blocked across here and blocked down here. So this is the only available square where a 4 can go, and so we can write in immediately. We don't need to worry about looking for other numbers or anything like that. If there is only one empty square where that number can go, because it's not seen or affected by intersecting numbers, then it must go there. All right, now let's take that 4 that we just put in and say that it blocks up this column now, because obviously now we have a 4. No other square can be a 4 in this column. Um, my apologies, I just had a camera crash there, which happens sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just using a cheap webcam to make these videos. This is not a highly polished uh, professional outfit here. Just me and a webcam <laughs> and uh, some, um, and, and just my computer. Right, so uh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how much of that uh, was lost when the camera crashed. I was about to say, and I may have got this far, but this 4 that we just placed blocks every square in this column up here. So in this block up here, these two four squares cannot be 4. Okay. Now this 4 blocks up here as well, so we have 4 blocking up here and up here. So this is the only space where a 4 can go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Alright. Right now, this column down here does not yet have a 9. You can see what we do have, 4, 5, 7, 2, 8, 6. No 9 yet. But if you notice, there is a 9 intersecting this square here, and there's a 9 intersecting this square here. So we know that this can't be 9, and this can't be 9. And so, in fact, 9 must appear in this square, because, again, it's the only available square for it. And this is the thing to keep in mind that we're looking for. Okay, this column doesn't yet have a 1, there's no 1 in this column yet, but over here we see an intersecting 1 blocking that square, so we know that 1 must fit into there, and now there's only one digit missing, and if we look and try to find it, we'll notice it's a 3, now if you're not sure, this is why we use numbers, because it's easy to find the missing number, we can count through 1, 2, there's no 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, if you want to check that the other numbers are correct. And so we know that that's a 3 now. Uh, now this 9 blocks across here and this 9 blocks across here. So this square and this square can't be 9 because the 9s we looked at before. Now there's only one empty square. So we know that 9 has to fit there. Now, good idea to take that 9 that we just filled in and block it up. Look at, uh, look at it follow it up this column and say that it blocks both of these two squares now and then we have another intersecting 9 here stopping that square from being 9 and so 9 is here like this <coughs> excuse me uh, now there are only two numbers missing in this block here the missing numbers are 7 and 8 we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 we don't have 7 or 8 we do have 9 so we, we are looking for an intersecting 7 or 8 to enable us to fill in this. And I think you've seen it already, haven't you? We've got 7 here, stopping that square from being 7. So 7 goes here, and 8 goes there. Now we'll continue with that 8 and say that it blocks up here. And this 8 blocks this square. So we can say 8 has to go in that square there. Um, if you think this is a bit fast, well, the, the thing is, um, you, it doesn't really take me very long to find these numbers because I've played this game, I've played uh, Sudoku for a long time. Remember, you need to try this yourself. You need a practical 
uh, game. So there is a link in the description which takes you off to this puzzle. And there are uh, links to um, other um, games uh, in uh, in a list for easy or easy or beginner level games, and you should um, try them out and, and learn. And you know, but you have to practice yourself. It's no good just watching these videos. You have to try it yourself. It's a practical thing as well. Okay, right. Three blocks this square here, so three must be there. And the only number we need now to finish this block is a two. We have one, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, but we don't have a two until we write it in there. And now we do. Right down this column here, we don't yet have three or seven. Those are the missing numbers, and we have two empty squares. We've got one, two, four, five, six, eight, nine. So three and seven must be missing, and they must fit into these two squares here. I think you've seen already, haven't you? You've noticed the intersecting 7 here, meaning that can't be 7. So we know that our 7 must go in the only other empty square. And now we've only got one empty square, so our 3 must go there. Um, right now the missing numbers here are 1 and 2, but there aren't any indications across in the rows as to one or twos. We don't have any ones or twos, so we don't know what, which is which. We know it's one and two, but we can't tell which is which. So we just leave it and come back to it at a later time. And that's what you need to do in Sudoku. You need to leave things and come back later. Let's look at the seven that we put seven that we put in here. And now we have a seven in this block, so we need to be looking in this direction. Now you can see seven blocks across this row, seven blocks across this row, so blocked and blocked. That will leave us just two possibilities. And if we look at the column, we'll see the 7 here stopping that square from being a 7. And so we know that 7 must fit there. But we're going to continue on with these 7s. And now we need to, we know we've got 7s along here. We need to look up and say 7 blocks up here. And this 7 blocks up here. And 7 blocks across there. And this 7 blocks across there. So let's examine it again. 7 blocking up, blocking up, blocked, and blocked. That's the only place a 7 can appear. <clears throat> um, if you are new to the channel, you should know that I don't play these games ahead of time. I don't know the solution yet. I have no idea of uh, the final answer. Um, I just switch on the camera and play the game and this is my first ever attempt. And that's true of all of the um, games that you see on this channel. Okay, They're all entirely unrehearsed and many times you will see and laugh at my uh, um, nonsense or <laughs> whatever or see me um, um, desperately flailing around trying to find the answer. Uh, Okay, now actually we still have a block that doesn't have a 7. We've got 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. Just this block here does not yet contain a 7. Now I know that we can find it because there's a golden rule in Sudoku that if you have 8 instances of a digit in you know, any 8 blocks and you have one block that does not have that digit, you always can find it. You can always, you always have enough uh, information to find the answer. So we don't have a 7 here, but I'm confident, 100% confident, that we can find it. So let's see. Well, we have 7 blocking across here. We have 7 blocking across here. We have a 7 blocking down here. So blocked, blocked, and blocked. So indeed, we know that 7 has to fit there, like that. Now this row along here does not yet have a 4. There's no 4 yet. But we can see a 4 blocking this square, and we can see a 4 blocking this square. So that only leaves this place here where the 4 can go. We're going to take that 4, and we're going to extend it up this column here, and this 4 up this column here, and the 4 blocking across there. So we know that 4 fits there. We're going to take that 4 again, and say block across this row, 4 blocks across this row, and then this 4 blocking up here. This is the only square unaffected by intersecting fours. 
And now we've got four, 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 four. What I just told you about the sevens is now true of the fours. We now have just this block here that doesn't yet have a four, so we know we can get it. We have a four blocking across here, four blocking up here. We know that that's a four. Uh, one number is missing from this row. It's a two. We have a one. There's no two anywhere, so we can place our two right there. Now, when we look along this row here, we have to find the missing numbers. And the missing numbers are 3 and 8. 1, 2, there's no 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no 8, 9. Now, there's two ways to find this. You could say, hey, there's an 8 intersecting here. So we know that's an 8 and that's a 3. Or you could say, hey, there's an intersecting 3 here. So we know that's a 3 and that's an 8. Exactly the same information uh, got in two different ways but that often happens in Sudoku. You often find more than one way to get the same answer. Eight blocks up here, eight blocks up here, eight blocks across here, and eight blocks across here. So eight has to fit into that square there. We don't yet have a three in this block. This three prevents this from becoming a three. So three goes there. And there's only one number missing. It's a six. One, two, three, four, five. There's no six. Seven, eight, nine. So a six must go there. Now we have this six blocking up here and six blocking across here. You see how we're using the numbers that we write in, uh, you know, using them to help find the next uh, location. Six blocking down here, six blocking down here, six across here, six fits into there. Six across here, six across here, and six down here. That's a six there. Six up here, six up here, and that's a six there. Six is now done everywhere. You don't need to worry about digit six anymore. But do you see how when you write in a number, it makes your choices fewer, or you can use it um, to find the next instance of that number. Uh, right, missing number along this row is two. We don't have a two anywhere, so we know that two has to fit there. And then we say that two blocks down here, this two blocks down here, we don't have a two in this box here yet, so we can put the two there. Still don't know about this one and two here. We still can't tell which is which, but that's okay. We just don't worry about it until we get there. Uh, we don't yet have a five in this block up here. We have five blocking here and five blocking here, so we know that the five must go there. We still don't have a 1, but this 1 prevents that square from being a 1, so 1 goes here. And the last number that we need for this block, or this column, same thing, is a 9. We're one empty square down here, so this is where we should look next. 1, 2, there's no 3 anywhere, so we know that has to be a 3. And if you want to double check your work, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, yep, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, right now, we don't yet have a 9 in this block, but this adjacent 9 here means that that can't be 9. So 9 is here and 1 is here. And now we do know about this, because remember we had 1 and 2 to go in these two squares here. This 1 means that that can't be 1. 1 goes there and 2 goes there. We have just one number missing to complete this row. It's a 3, so we'll place that in. And we'll use that 3 to go up this column here, blocking these two squares. And then we have a 3 blocking across here. So we know that 3 goes there. Now we, you can see where to go next, I think. We just have one empty square here. And the missing number is 2. We've got 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 2 goes there. Um, this 1 stops this square from being a 1, so 1 is there. We only need one more number to complete this block. It's a 5. Okay. Uh, then we only have these numbers to go, right? Not very many left. So let's see. Well, we have one blocking down here, or one blocking down here, and one blocking across there. So that's a 1 we can fill in there. Missing numbers here and here now are 5 and 6. 
five and what? Five and eight. Okay, we have an intersecting five here, so that must be our five. And our eight appears in this square here. Eight blocks up here, eight blocks down there, so eight goes there. Uh, what's left to get? Um, two and nine, I think, appear here, so we have the nine blocking down here. That's a nine, that's a two. This can't be two now, so two appears here. And to finish, uh, we just need a five. Now, if you're doing this on pen and paper, and I recommend you do pencil on paper, maybe you can use a rubber if you get it wrong. Um, then uh, you need to check at the end. Now, if you're playing on the computer, as most people probably will, um, then you the computer will check the solution for you. Make you make sure you haven't put in any doubles or made any mistakes. But then. Obviously, uh, this, you have to use the human computer called your brain to, to finish off here. Okay, and that appears to be correct. I don't see any mistakes there, so I think we're okay, and we can declare victory over today's Easy Game. As I said, post your questions. You want to know how to play the game? You want some tips or whatever? Post them in the comments. Uh, I'm very happy to hear from beginners uh, as well as the experts, and we get a lot of comments from experts already. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.